Hello, my name is Kathleen Lesson. I'm a certified lymphedema therapist and board certified massage therapist practicing in San Diego, California. We're at my studio in Pacific Beach right now. I am the author of the Lipedema Treatment Guide. Um, the paperback and the Amazon Kindle are available on Amazon now. Um, and I would like to show you the poster um, that I'm going to present at the upcoming ASDAH conference. Um, you can see it there live, but I want, kind of wanted to show you a preview. Um, if you can attend the conference, definitely get a better look at it. Um, and if you can't, I wanted to do this overview and also let you know that a PDF of this poster is on my website, lipedematreatmentguide.com. So let's go through the poster. Um, I would like to thank uh, Sarah Thompson and Catherine Lynn Hack for helping me with this. Um, this is Catherine's artwork um, and Sarah is the one who is responsible for um, making all the data and the information that I present into the book into these wonderful um, infographics. So I'll start over here. Um, these are the effects of lipedema. This is from the Lipoedema uh, UK big survey. Um, these are their results. It's from Fetzer and Fetzer in 2016 is where all this data comes from. Um, so these are basically the why you should care about lipedema if you are a massage therapist, if you're um, a certified lymphedema therapist like I am, an occupational therapist, a physical therapist, and um, definitely if you are a physician that is treating clients who have this um, adipose tissue disease, um, there is a report of negative effect on the quality of life, low self-esteem, restricted social life, feelings of hopefulness, self-blame, and eating disorders. So this, the lipedema, um, will also have an important effect on how um, a dietitian or someone, a health coach, someone who's into nutrition, um, these people who have this adipose tissue disorder may come to you, they may ask for help. Um, because as everyone knows, diets don't work. Weight loss diets do not work. They fail 95% of people. Um, they, they just straight don't work. So this is um, alternative information, not sending them into that you know, further tailspin, the same news that they've been hearing ever since they were a teenager. Um, the average diagnosis is 44 years old for lipedema. Ever since a teenager, what do we say in America with the diet culture, you know, oh, just lose weight, calories in, calories out. Um, and then the second wonderful infographic is um, the things you need to know about lipedema. This is kind of your quick start guide. Um, what is it? When was it discovered? When is it the onset? What does it look like in the body? The symptoms? Um, is it a hereditary? And number nine, very important, is weight loss and effective treatment? No. Research has found that there is little support for the notion that diets lead to lasting weight loss or health benefits. And is it eat caused by my eating habits? No. Having lipedema is not your fault. Okay. So number, uh, the third part of this is something that is so close to my heart. Um, my close friend and the artist who did um, the cover art and the art um, inside of this book, her name is Catherine Lynn Hack. She is um, a teacher and an artist. Her website is belovedbodies.com and this is her personal story. She has a lipedema diagnosis. This is her personal story of how um, lipedema just one day in her life how it affected her um, and this I hope puts the human um, face on this disease on this condition um, and then this is um, one of my quotes um, the more we move towards fat acceptance the better adipose tissue disorders will be understood and effective treatment will be more available to people with lipedema so I feel that it's very important for our society, which is steeped in this diet culture, to move instead towards fat acceptance, accepting everyone's body. And it's this, um, you know, kind of line in the sand that we've drawn where we're so steeped in diet culture that we do not let people accept their bodies. This is stifling more research, more in. Um, interest in studying and um, finding cures and treatments for lipedema 
and it's making the people who have a lipedema diagnosis scared to go to their doctors. They're not um, ever being helped by weight loss diets, and yet that is the advice they find from so many of their physicians, from so many of their families and friends, and weight loss diets are not how you treat or cure lipedema. Okay, and then um, the fourth, this final section is the treatment goals for lipedema. So I have used um, several studies um, which are all in the back of this book um, to, to show what, how we should be treating in the medical community in Western medicine, how we should treat people with lipedema, reducing their pain and inflammation, enhancing their self-care practices, making mobility and physical activity pleasant. It's not a punishment. It's not the way that you lose weight. Um, it should be pleasant and it should be a way to get um, more health into your life, feel better, um, let your body work better, rediscover the joy of movement rather than just more punishing you know, attitude towards exercise. Um, improving the cycle social well-being, it is so important. It's all intertwined. Um, the, the, one of the major issues with lipedema is the very society that we live in that is steeped in diet culture. It's, it's in every, almost everything that we see and we have to open our eyes to what it is and how it's not true in order to remove weight stigma from our society because it's the weight stigma that is harming and causing negative health effects in all of us, especially um, those of us in larger bodies. And then finally, intuitive eating. Now, I'm not an intuitive eating expert. I am a certified lymphedema therapist, so my specialty is the manual lymphatic drainage part of it, but I do have resources in San Diego, resources nationwide that I can find people an expert who knows about intuitive eating to help them if they want to explore that. And then this is my um, list of what I want for the future for all of us. So how can we work together? And I'm looking for allies, I'm looking for co-conspirators. We need to increase awareness of lipedema and treatment options. We need to educate health coaches, dietitians, personal trainers, and other healthcare professionals on lipedema. We need to reduce fat stigma among healthcare professionals, the media, and the general public. We need to pass the Lymphedema Treatment Act in Congress. We need to encourage the depiction of a wider variety of bodies in art. And this is um, just one piece of art that I've commissioned. Um, you see so many times that the lymphatic system is demonstrated on a human form and it is not a human form in a larger body. So this is my um, person with lipedema and her lymphatic system is illustrated. We need more differently shaped bodies in art today. And then lastly, make size a federally protected class. So these are the things that I'm gonna work on going forward as an activist, as an author, as a speaker. Um, if you wanna join me in any of these, I'm you know, super excited to see how we can work together, how I can help you. And this is the overview of my poster. It will be at the ASDAH conference. And then also this um, wonderful handout, I will also be having um, these to take home. And then this is these um, two uh, infographics, one on each side, so you can take the poster home with you. I hope um, that you enjoyed looking at this poster, and again, you can see the PDF if you want to inspect it. Um, if you want to read Catherine Lynn Hack's story, I highly recommend it, and that is on lipedematreatmentguide.com. Thank you, and have a good day.